Hello, hello, everyone. All right. Now, we here are we are with the Jet Set Radio Future Run, which is going to feature a whole lot of Ohio. Hell yeah. Ohio chat. Ohio's in the chat. All right, Panda, are we ready to move character select? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, hold on a second. All right. All right. I can do the countdown whenever you guys are ready, then. All right, uh, we'll I'm ready. All righty. Drop the okay. countdown. Then I would say let's start in five, four, three, two, one, go. All righty. Welcome to JSRF Bingathon. Uh, this is a lockout blackout bingo board, so we're going to go for first to 13 squares. We have a combination of graffitis to spray around the map and a combination of graffiti souls to pick up. So, again, just like all the other lockout bingos, first to uh, 13 will win. Panda, you were here yeah. in December. How was it? Uh, yeah, that is right. So, um, for those guys who were here for the last time, uh, some things have changed since that. Um, the modding team or the modding crew for Jet Set Radio uh, made some really cool things to make uh, bingos more accessible and um, much, much more stuff. Um, so, the first thing we have, we're starting the game from a loading file. Um, this is basically a chapter 9 file, I would say. Um, so the game essentially is beaten, but all objectives like graffitis and graffiti souls uh, without the collectibles in this game are available to unlock. So we can just free roam without completing the story. Um, so basically every district in the game uh, has to be unlocked when we normally play the game. And that just wastes too much time. So with this... Um, with this new uh, loading, um, with this new load, we have a couple of more options to uh, route the game just differently and make it a lot faster. Yep. Someone asked if there's a bonus for getting lines. Uh, we didn't add one in today. Wanted to keep it nice and simple for first time. But uh, normally when we run this, we do have bonus for graffiti squares because they take significantly longer to do as well as a, a bonus for hitting full lines, so uh, we just haven't done it today. So, I don't know where Panda is, because I'm not going to be watching the stream, but I am over in Shibuya Terminal. Oh, you're in Dogen Grind 10. Yeah. Nice. So there's three really main challenges in the game. One is graffiti, one is uh, default souls that are placed around the map that you could kind of see blinking on the right of my screen. And uh, there are tape unlock souls. So uh, certain souls require you to unlock or to collect the mystery tape, do a challenge, then pick up the corresponding graffiti soul to it. So that's uh, those are the three main challenges that we're doing in this run. Do we have time to just throw a quick donation in? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. We have a $60 donation by XLJ with no comment. Thank oh. you very much. Nice. Gee. So, uh, yeah, um, let's talk a little bit of, about movement in this game. Uh, the fastest form of normal movement is the boost dash. The boost dash uh, costs 10 cans and lasts for, I don't know, about 6 or 7 three, seconds? I think. 3 seconds. Oh, is it only three seconds? It's three seconds. It's the fastest Damn. three seconds. That, that was not a lot. Um, yeah, besides that, when you have momentum, you see the little bar on the bottom right. Uh, this, this is basically our speed bar. And to mo gain, um, to keep momentum, you can do something called the shuffle. This is basically... Uh, you, you're going to see that... Um, 
uh, the, the formation of the skates will like be right in front of us, like this. And um, this makes sure we can keep momentum throughout uh, uh, some time. Uh, besides that, normally skating is slower than grinding and boost dashing is faster than grinding. Um, let's see, I'm a bit clueless right now. Yep, there's a lot of movement tricks in Jet Set Radio Future that really allow you to just keep your momentum going throughout a level, and it's really it's really satisfying to be able to take your character and just, as you get better, progress throughout a level faster and faster each time. It's it's a very rewarding speed game, and it's not uh, too trick intensive. We really uh really enjoy playing it. Yeah, it's basically all the tricks you see doing? we are doing uh, are basically just by pressing one button, which is uh, normally X or Y. Okay. I am a little bit confused right now. I guess the, the, um, the hardest part about the bingo for this game is to um, root everything on the fly. Um, For because sure. you, you, you don't have to play through the story, uh, it is not that linear anymore and we can go basically anywhere we want. Some goals are harder than uh, others, but um, it basically comes up to who um, who wants to do what and who's the most familiar with like each district. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely... Uh... Uh, routing heavy, but you do have to have the execution to go with it. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, because we don't see the board ahead of time, we do have to figure out where the best places are to go, the most dense areas uh, on the map, to figure out where we want to go in order to pick up the most graffiti souls, or pick up the graffiti souls while spraying graffiti along the way. Yeah, that's true. I think Duck said it already, it's like uh, two-thirds routing and one-third execution. 37. Yep, that, that sounds pretty accurate. It's uh, definitely an important thing. So I have now picked up all the souls in Chuo Street. So it's a little bit... Uh, that gives me a good advantage. Right now, I'm up just a little bit. However, I do have to get all the way through the entire map before I can proceed onwards. So you can't backtrack in that specific part of the level. At least not easily. So, yep. Let's see, where do I want to head next? We've got most of the uh, Shibuya levels knocked out. Oh, I'm going to spray some graffiti so yeah. you guys can see it. We do have... Thank you for donating uh, for that uh, JSRF Bingo incentive. We do have that custom Vohio spray on every single super small tag in the level. Uh, yes. We also have some Bingothon logos. Our extra large is the Bingothon plus ESA, our generous host, and the MSF logo where all the donations will be going to. And uh, our, my medium tag, at least, is uh, hopefully having JSRF at ESA Summer 2019, run by the wonderful Yayo de la Riva. Yeah, that is basically mine as well, so... <laughs> um, you, can, you can see what we, what we are having with the uh, ESA and the... Ohio emotes. Alright, uh, so... You'll probably see each of us doing way different things than the other. Um, this is basically because uh, everybody likes to do uh, different stuff in the game. Yeah, we do have that, as Panda was saying earlier, it is a full open world. There's nothing left, but uh, as far as story is concerned, we do use that modded save file that uh, 
we've created over the last couple months, and it allows us to basically just take uh, take any route that we want to. So if we're more familiar with a level, we're able to just go right to it and start knocking out squares pretty quickly. Uh, it really leaves a lot to personal preference and a little bit of practice. Yeah, this is true. Also, we can like just uh, load up the save file, and if we want to practice like one specific uh, part of the game or level, uh, we can just do that right away, which makes things like much more uh, easy to uh, to do for us. Right, highway zero points. Nice. Yeah. I'm uh, we went in like totally uh, different directions, I think. Yep. As I yep. can see, you, you're doing Hikag, so you basically... Uh... I have cleaned out the Shibuya level, so off of the yeah. garage, which is the main area we started, there are three real main places you can go. You can go to Shibuya Terminal and, uh, by extension, Dogenzaka Hill, but those are basically the same place. You can go to the dark levels, as we call them, which is 99th Street, Skyscraper District, Highway Zero, and Sky Dino, which is where Panda is. And then there are the Rokokodai levels, or the sewers levels, which is where I will be going next. Uh, those are... And each person has a preference of what they want to see uh, and what they're more familiar with uh, going forward in each level. So, for example, I've got RDH Air, but I also have RDH Graffiti to knock out, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Yeah, and uh, what you basically don't want to see is um, the more difficult levels having graffitis in them, because it takes up a lot of time uh, to do them. Uh, especially, like, Kibo is one of the worst, I think. We have Because it. there are a lot of... <laughs> uh, a lot of different holes where you have to go, and it's, uh, it's pretty annoying, I would say. At yeah, least if you don't know where to go, uh, and I'm a little bit clueless when it comes to Kiwu at least. Yep. Uh, but it all comes down to like practicing. Um, once you have done 100% in this game, it gets a little bit easier, I would say. Yep, for sure. There's a lot of long game categories, a lot of different things that's cropped up in the last couple months that really are testing players' knowledge of the game as opposed to just their mechanical execution of the game, and uh, I for one really like that. I like the uh, that kind of aspect of it. So. Yeah, what totally. Doing? There, there's uh, so many things in this game to do, and with Bingo, there's even like uh, more challenge to it. Uh, and this game has a lot of replay uh, replayability in its uh, on its own. So um, you you most likely never get bored when you're playing this game. Ooh. Clean execution there on my, uh, on the RDH bottom section, on the graffiti that was, RDH is one of my weaker levels for some reason, I just don't do well at it, but, so this is what I was talking about earlier, we're gonna go pick up the mystery tape here, that's the mystery tape that was on my screen, I believe, am I on the left? Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, I have no idea where we are. <laughs> And so then, that unlocks all the challenges, so I'm going to do four tricks in air, three and four, and it's going to unlock that soul floating in the air, and all I have to do is go pick that up. Well, I am going to laugh. Uh, and all I have to do is go pick that up when I leave the level, as it's right near the entrance. And I can move, and I can mark off that square and move forward with my life. <laughs> Uh, and also, you might be wondering what the numbers on the bingo board are. Uh, those represent the number of the graffiti soul we are picking up, so that is basically just for reference. Uh, it is kind of hard to uh, uh, to get them know them all and like by name. So um, what it basically says is either the location or the challenge we have to complete. Um, so, we have five challenges when you pick up the mystery tape in this game. Uh, those are a grinding combo, uh, total tricks combo, and um, an air combo, as well as a special, or like a hidden. Um, 
hidden challenge and points. Uh, what, what was the last? Oh yeah, points. Grind tricks air point special. So, yep. Those those are the uh, all the. If you look at the bingo board, those are the different types of things that'll show up. And then any soul that's just on the map by default, there are three per level in pretty much every level. Uh, those are just described by location, by agreed upon callouts. All right, gonna do the panda can dupe. There's no can here. Boop! You can pick one up right inside the wall. <laughs> it's it's the famous famous dupe. Yep. The dupe that doesn't dupe. Uh, also, what you what you see um, me doing is taking a lot of death warps. Uh, this is basically intentional, so I can start on a different part of the map. Um, when it's faster we, than running. Yeah, it's faster than running. It's faster than grinding, especially in Sky Dino, where I am right now. Uh, you want to take the shortest way back and. You know, pick up the things you, you need to uh, need to do. Uh, it is also helpful in other levels, especially in the in the dark side levels, uh, which is um, I would say it's skyscraper and sky dino, which are most likely to have more um, more depth warps than usual. And this was not intentional. Probably. All right, All right got so my RDH graffiti done. I think you are a little bit ahead of me. I'm doing a little bit of, uh, of more challenging goals at first. I think you you were you went for the easier ones in Chuo. I think Chuo had a lot. Chuo had three. I've also knocked out two graffitis, so. Yeah, and uh, the further we get into the bingo, uh, the more likely it is you see us um, trying to go for the same goal. So uh, at some point we we will be in the same district, yep. and we can try to knock each other off. Yep, because this is lockout bingo, we do have the ability to uh, well lock each other out of squares and uh, have a really competitive race that way. Uh, I know in some of the practice races we did, um, both of us would start by going to the same location and finish long sections of the game in under, I don't know, three, four seconds from each other. Yeah, yeah so it's pretty intense. Yeah, it really is intense. Like, you mostly don't know um, which runner is going to take which route first, and it could be that both runners are going for the same objectives right away because it's easy to pick up, and then, you know, you just are going to start and race. So having good unlock routes is also uh, really important here. So I've got two souls to get here in bottom point. Grind 10, so I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and get that. I'm going to hop right over the side and go ahead and unlock both point souls right there and then I'm able to pick them up uh, right next to each other and that makes it that's the real important part of uh, routing this game in a bingo environment which is different from any percent uh, by a significant margin yeah that is true like it is uh... The, the routing is totally different. I guess it, you could say 100% or souls percent can help you a little bit. Oh, for sure, uh, for sure. But besides that, I would say uh, any percent is so different because we skipped so many parts of the game. Um, and like like one district gets completely skipped, which is the sewers. Um, as well, you, you won't see much of the. Uh, many levels even like races are getting skipped um you basically have to do each graffiti in each area that is the most important part and in any percent you have to pick up 20 souls to progress uh further into the game but it, that is about it yep all right also something i neglected to mention i do have uh one of our custom made mods uh by our wonderful fuse cv 
Uh, I do have the input viewer running down at the bottom left of my screen, so you can see every input I make on the screen, which is uh, pretty nice. So there's just the sticks going a little crazy. Uh, the mods we've made recently have really advanced this game in a major way, uh, even 17 years after release. So I want to make a big, big shout out to really everybody that's uh, contributed in any way whatsoever to that. It's really a, it's really been a lot of fun the last couple months. Big true. Especially oh. because Sega doesn't really care about this uh, game anymore, or about, about the franchise in general. And feels so it's bad. it's cool to have. <laughs> yeah, feels feels really bad now. But it's Oof. cool to have like the active modding scene, and I think Neodos, like the one who originally started to make uh, mods, uh, is just working on a character model importer. So th that will be um, actually really amazing. Uh, so we can finally have own characters in the game, which is, uh, I guess, a, a big achievement as well. Alright, I'm going through a particularly tricky spot of Fortified Residential Zone where I have to go and uh, run through a couple mazes to go collect a Graffiti Soul. One of the more annoying oh, okay, sections. So. <laughs> At least I know well, what you're up to right now. I am up, uh... to, I'm up to things. Well, I'm in skyscraper again, and we have to climb uh, climb up this tower. Oh, you got and, an observatory? Uh, yeah, I absolutely hate it, but I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> I mean, while while I'm here anyway, I can do it. But I'm really bad at it, and sometimes I just fall down, and it's a little bit annoying. But maybe you can get the first try. It's not hard. It's just um, I'm bad at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh my god, alright. <laughs> I, I knew that Take a tumble. going to happen. No, I, I just fell down. <laughs> Completely. Oof. Big oof. Yeah, that's that's a that's a real big oof. Uh, it wastes a lot of time to go for it, <laughs> so I don't know if I should do that. Alright, I'm off to the sewers. Everybody's favorite level. If the sewers were your favorite level, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> I think I, I like two it's... people will raise their hands. I guess it's one of the one of the worst levels in the game. I, I don't know. I, I mean I like Suez kind of. Uh with the challenges. But um I know a lot of people hate it. Hate to do it casually. Yeah, it's oh, it's not a very forgiving level, that's for sure. I think the, the level I hated the most was definitely Skyscraper, at least when I played it casually. Uh, as, as you can see, I'm trying to do an Out of Bounds, but I am not getting it. I don't know why. Alright, I guess we, we uh, do the normal way. So yeah, in this level, you have a lot of um, options to Death Warp, uh, if you can actually do it. I don't know what happened when you didn't recognize the... Part. But yeah, you, normally you have to climb up all the all the buildings, and it's pretty annoying and takes forever. But with some good jumps, you can actually make it really fast in any percent. I think it's one of the fastest levels in the uh, late game levels, at least in any percent. All right, I think it's time. I think it's time to go to everybody's favorite room in sewers. Oh, you're going to do the jump? I'm going to go to 100 meter room. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I don't even have to... Oh yeah, I do, because we're on graffiti, obviously. Uh, I have to get grind 10, but it's not special. There's a graffiti soul that spawns at the top of a uh, 100 meter tower, and it'd be yeah, a shame I... to go up here and then have to come up here again. But <laughs> it is not that soul. Actually, I need to check if I got grind 10. Nope. Kibo is Dan's game. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up Kibo next. If, uh, if Panda's not there already. I'm, I'm still climbing. You know, uh, I'll take my time here. 
<laughs> Take your time. No rush. I, mean, I guess so. I, I don't know how far we are in, but uh, I guess we might. Cool. In game timer says 23 minutes in game. Alright. So. That's okay, I guess. In game timer counts uh, handles for loads and handles for game slowdown. So, uh, certain areas, especially if you played on the Xbox 360, you'll now have a, uh, a, a little bit of a lag issue. So, while not that bad in the Xbox version, uh, still uh, do matter, especially when we care about speedruns being accurate to very, very precise values. Love seeing the Ohio's in chat every time we spray it. <laughs> I, I need to spray more graffitis, honestly. Make JSRF cute again. It's great. <laughs> Do we have time for a donation? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Damn, nice. So we've got a $2 donation from Trix. Hello, hello, Trix. <laughs> Hi, Trix. Who says in his comment, I want to personally thank Bert for his streams and his personality. I've been through some hard times about a year ago now, and he helped me through it with, with his positivity. He's also a great producer, and we're going to record some music on the 14th of June on his stream, so everyone follow him. And also <laughs> follow 7th Ace, of course. Well, <laughs> Thanks, well, Rick. I appreciate it. Isn't that Thanks. an awesome comment? <laughs> that, that is a cute comment. It's a Vohio comment. Exactly. Send positivity yeah. in the chat. Positivity. That was amazing. Alright, since you are still in the sewers, I think I'm going to check out what's what's up at Kibo. You going for Kibo? Oh man, I've got to get there. got to get Grind 10 in sewers at some point. Let's do that here. And I, and I see I already missed one soul in Highway Zero. I was there, but I missed one. Shout out to that. It was in the room I was just in. The importance of routing. Yeah. That's true. Thankfully, it's not hard to get from the bottom. Or from the top, so... That's true. Oh, wow. Did you not get Highway Zero, Panda? Uh, I, I, did, I was there, but I didn't pick up 15 crimes. For whatever reason. I think I was... I was so busy right. wow, looking at the card and... Being There's confused like Kibo. Holy cow. Yeah. But I, uh, yeah, I just entered Kibo and... Alright. Uh, I'm, I'm going to leave here soon as well. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, Kibo is one of the harder levels for sure, both for graffiti and just in general. Excuse me? That's rare. Yeah, that is true. And also, I think in any percent key was one of the hardest levels because there is a skip uh, that saves a couple of minutes, but it's it's really hard. And uh, if if you fail it, you basically have to go around Kibo twice to fight some helicopters, and then you have to go around again to spray all the graffitis. And it's kind of annoying if you fail it. It's basically a run over like I don't know, one hour twenty minutes and. Yeah, for Maybe world record speedruns, it's about an hour in, about 50... Yeah. Oh boy. This is an oof moment. By the way, why, why are we here and have that extra large graffiti? I, I don't know if you can see it, but shout out to Doctors with a Borders. You know what? I'm gonna go to Kiba real quick. I'm gonna try and grab some stuff. Uh, so I goofed. I fell really, really far, so, uh, <laughs> welcome Man. to sewers, everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I fell right next to Kibo, I'm gonna start, uh, fighting with Panda uh -huh. for some souls here, since I have a substantial lead in everything else. Yeah, now, now you're trying to chun me. That's great. I love it. No? I'm, I'm going for unlocking Boogle first, and I'm really bad at it normally. Ooh, the Boogle unlock. You may think that says Boogie, and it does, but she's definitely Boogle. That's that's a lie. The cake is definitely a lie. Alright, 
It's by the way, Boogle is the best character in this game. Uh, no you're gonna start some wars if you say that too loudly. <laughs> wars. I don't know nothing about that. So, Chad, who do you think is the best waifu in this game? Vohayo. <laughs> Vohayo. Also, by the way, um, time to show off that beautiful large graffiti. So, if you want to see any present at ESA Summer, uh, you know, support that boy Yayo de la Riva. He's the current world record holder and has done an incredible run not too long ago. Like, one of the best runs ever made for this game. Um, and he's submitted to ESA Summer, and if you want to see that, you know, make some hype for it. Okay, keep up points, keep up tricks. Alright, in order to not duplicate where I'm going, I've sprayed some of the early graffiti here. I'm gonna run around. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and pick up the tape. Did you just get something? You just got unlocked Google. Yeah. And we're gonna try and do some uh, unlock sequences. Panda does have a bingo available, but I don't think he's been doing the graffiti. That's true. And I screwed up uh, points right away. That's Oof. Oof. That was interesting. So, normally the challenges in this level are not that hard. The only thing is uh, you have to know where the soul spawns, which can be kind of tricky because all of the, the, uh, the tunnels... The camera it gives you looks the same for everyone, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, just, that's, that's true. You just kind of have to know where to go and in which tunnel you have to, I don't know, climb, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna try and snipe Panda for it, because oh. I am a good person. You have 60 tricks and points. Oof. Yeah. Let's go this way. I'm already screwing it up hard. Go for tricks. So we go slow on rails during tricks to try and give ourselves more space. That's the grind soul. You can see that area unlocked it in was not very specific. Uh, you can't hear it because I think we're capturing audio from Panda, but DJ Professor K will give you audio cues when you're at a certain number of tricks. So there we go, that's the, uh... That's the soul for... tricks. We're gonna come up here and spray some graffiti, maybe. We've not been blessed by the RNG monster. <laughs> by the way, shoutouts to tricks. Uh, while we add it. <laughs> yeah. It's got an appropriate um, username. Very true. Oh damn it! I I'm already confused. I shouldn't have gone for for keyboard, to be honest. Keyboard is also the, the level I practice the least because I rarely go here. Since we have so much keyboard, I think uh, I get pretty much real bad luck. Uh, Let's get that tunnel. Okay, cool. All right, so I've unlocked the points and trick soul now, and I just have to go and collect them. Well, I, I guess <laughs> now it also uh, down gets it first. Because uh, I have unlocked both too, but. I actually have to uh, to find the soul. I have no idea where it is. I also didn't give a shout out to the cat room uh, just a couple oh, minutes yeah. ago. Visited oh, yeah, the you cat were room. In the cat room. I was in the cat room. Got to spray the graffiti in the cat room. Oh, all right. <laughs> Okay. 
Oh god. <laughs> I'm already failing. Uh, I shouldn't be. I, I shouldn't do keyboard anymore. It's not, not good. By the way, I'm about to die as well. Monka S. That trick jump was really unfortunate. Um. All right. All right. I'm I'm actually about to die. This is health required. We'll grab some health. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty Monka S moment right now. Oops. And I I guess it's it's time for me to go out of keyboard. I I don't want to do this. Oh yeah. Yeah, Kibo is a brutal level. If uh, you're not prepared or uh, not ready for it. All right. Yeah, Close the thing is, pick. I wasted already too much time here. And not really worth going for. Um. All right, that does make 13 for me. So that is. I mean, you, uh, you clearly won anyway. So. But we will finish this lockout board. That is what we are planned to do. Yeah. Uh, are planning to do. Eight is the winner. That's that's mm -hmm. really something. GG. Okay. Do I have an opportunity at Bingo? Uh, only if I get Highway Zero grind along the bottom. Well, you won't get it, I think. Because I'm. Uh, oh no, he's at it. <laughs> I, don't, oh, I, no, I know that you started Suez as well, so you know it doesn't make any sense for me to go to Suez, and it's taking me too long. Um, so, and it's still lost anyway. I maybe can show off some stuff that's interesting in the game. Oh, damn, I'm going to show it. Alright, um, I really hope for more Sky Dino uh, objectives, but there were only two. Yeah. Kind of sad. Yep. It, bingo does come down a little bit to. Which levels are you comfy with, and uh, which ones show up on the map, so or on the bingo mm -hmm. board? So, good job. Yeah, I'm probably most familiar with 99 Streets, uh, Sky Dino, and Highway Zero. It's mostly the goals I go for first. And um, I guess Chu Chu is pretty easy. Uh, Shibuya Terminal is pretty easy, and Dogen also pretty easy. Dogen just could technically take a lot of time. Um, although it's the first level, you just have to go... Uh, like, you have to go one one whole round in... Um, in Kibo. So that make, makes it a little bit difficult. If you don't have the right objectives that I do. Yep. Uh, I do want to say, if you like Jet Set Radio Future, and want an HD remake, Make sure to fill out, like, Sega asks for interest surveys on old games. Uh, stuff like that. Those are really important because, or hopefully, they're important and they listen to us. We've been asking for either an HD remake or a sequel or anything. Acknowledgement that the franchise exists, Sega, please. Uh, for a long time. So, uh... Yeah, so... Also, if you want to have like a um, uh, a remake, you can always add Sega and ask for it on Twitter. I know a lot of people. Uh, I know a lot of people do this, and the more people who are asking, uh, the more likely it is that we have uh, that we get some attention to this game. Cause the fan base, uh, the fan base is actually huge for it. Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a cult following style underneath. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, there are uh, Jet Set Radio Future themed events, like we want Jet Set Radio HD. Uh, there's... Um, I think that's the main one. There's... Plenty of small events like the North America Speedrunners Assembly Association, something like that, that uh, plays JSRF each time. So, lots of little things you'll see with JSRF here and there uh, that really make it valuable. Yeah, yeah. true. There, there are a lot of people who like this game, and 
you know, every time it is in a marathon, people always come in and be like, oh, damn, this game was my, actually my childhood, and I haven't seen it for so long. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, can, can you can you play it on emulator? <laughs> that's what, yeah. I, I think that's the, the the most common question I, I guess. Uh, is it played on emulator? And it actually works. Um, just for you know, if you want to play the game casually, you can play it on emulator pretty well. Uh, I think. But uh, it is not allowed for speedrunning. So that is not really uh, not right now. But because we have the in-game timer mod along with. Uh, couple new changes to the emulator, it could be possible if we can show that it's a, a reasonable replica and people can't uh, use it for evil. Yeah, that's just true. I mean, that makes it uh, a lot better, I guess, uh, to to determine uh, the real time. I mean, since RTA isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. Praise be. You right. just see me uh, unlocking Soda. It's not an objective, but since I'm here, I will do. I will complete Highway Zero since Ace is an elite. Place anyway. your bets. Place your bets then. Place oh your yeah, bets. place how your fast, bets. How fast are you gonna do the lap? It's about a minute or so, maybe a little over, but about yeah, a minute. Maybe I can do it under one minute, but I don't think so. I don't have any frame boost right now. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty bad race. Success 101, and ah, that, that was close though. 103, that's pretty bad. <laughs> there are a lot of ILs for this game, so um, basically, when you completed the, the game with, or like when you complete each chapter with each individual soul, you unlock the mini games for it, or challenges, and it's there's a pretty active community of people who are doing ILs. So, like the, the, the races, uh, the graffiti, uh, what else is there? I, I guess Jet Tech. Not... Best Jet category. Tech. Ooh, frame boost. <laughs> Actually, keep it uh, ashing right now. Yeah, I, I mean, you can do so many different things in this game. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, everybody needs to check it out at least once. Yep, it's. Uh... Really nice. We've got a good uh, community over at our speedrun.com and on the Discord. You can check it out at speedrun.com slash JSRF. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be finishing this race in just about, I don't know, four minutes or so, three minutes. Uh, How far are you into... Uh, into... Uh... Suez, Suez Spring. 17 out of 24, I think. You can get All grind right. 10. That's a pretty easy one to grab at the bottom. I've got an unlock. Oh yeah, I, 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 I can do that. I just finished up Highway Zero for no reason. Uh, I was at mm. it anyway. And to show off the beautiful graffitis we have. Yeah. Oh, we gotta, gotta promote a little bit Doctors Without Borders. Yep, for sure. Uh, definitely one of my favorite uh, speedrunning charity donation locations. Uh, wasn't it uh, SGDQ does it each year as well? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get our uh, shoutouts in right before the end of this uh, so we don't uh, delay any further. Uh, Big shout out to all the people in the JSRF community and uh, all the people that worked to make this run possible because it's it took a lot longer than a lot more work than would be expected for this. And uh, big thanks to all the organizers of this event as well. It's been a uh, yes. it's been really fun to watch this weekend. Been uh, waiting for this for a long time. So big shout outs to the people that are silently watching in Discord. Give them some clappers. Clapper in chat and Ohio in chat, you know. Gotta, gotta show that off. This is what you donated for. Here you go. Big Ohio. E even the girl below here is doing the Ohio as well, if you can see it. 
That is not a coincidence. Everything is planned. Imagine, imagine in the future when we get model importing, and then we just make a <laughs> Vohio model, and then we Damn. use Vohio as a character. Like the future is bright. I I guess you know for the next Bingathon, if we have uh, a model importer already, you know custom models can be a thing. We, we will see about that. <laughs> but as far as I know, uh, I don't know, I think there was Mario and Anik already. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> what else, but a, a couple of uh, models were already shown. Alright, and GG to you of winning race. Uh. <laughs> GG Panda, thank you for... Uh... Panda was one who taught me about... Uh, told me about Bingathon, and... Uh... I appreciate you bringing it to my attention. It's been a uh, been fun to prepare and plan for, and all this stuff. Uh, been a good time. Yeah, thank you uh, also for joining. Um, I hope you guys in chat liked it as well. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you always can come to the Jetset Radio uh, Discord. You can also ask one of the runners in their chat or in our Discord, we always glad to help you out. Yep, there's uh, a lot of people around the community. There's always uh, there's not always a streamer of it at the exact same time, but there's always somebody around uh, streaming eventually. You'll see a couple JSRF yeah. streams every day. Normally there's like at least one or two persons streaming it on a daily basis, but at least like a couple of weekly. Yep. And you can find anything that suits your uh, like. You can do any percent, hundred uh, percent. We've started doing randomizer. We've got stats mods coming up. We've got a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of everything coming up. So JSRF, despite being seventeen years old and now uh, going even more, is uh, really entering into a bright spot. I think in the speedrun community, and I really, really appreciate all the effort everybody's put in to making it happen. Big true. Also, uh, uh, again, a little shout out to Yayo de la Riva for ESA Summer. If anybody from ESA personally is here, you know, get him in. Get him in. Heart. <laughs> Leave. I missed one up here. And then one farther down. Been talking a bit right. more, so I've actually missed one or two of the graffitis that I don't normally miss. I think it's right over here. I think we've got the two in the corner here, and we're good to go. Nice. Yep, there they are. Cool. And blackout. Nice. Big win. At least <laughs> you didn't get a bingo. I did I, not I get I a bingo. Have, I, yeah. I could have got the bingo with Kibo 100, but... Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to go for it. <laughs> yeah, keep us hard. Right. GG, guys. GG, thanks. Thank you. Clap in the chat. <laughs> and, and some Ohio's. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Gotta Always represent the Ohio's. Always the Ohio's. But I'll just put a little Mugu in there. Because, you know, we're just gonna sneak. <laughs> Sneak it in there. <laughs> yeah. We, oh, yeah. We. we I want to say thank you a lot for the donations. I think Jetset Radio Future made over two hundred dollars alone on the marathon for uh, for Doctors Without Borders. This is uh, really, really amazing. Thank you so much for everyone who donated for their favorite emo and uh, Team Ohio. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. that bid war war is really intense. It's a great way to, to close off, like just having this frame of just watching the Vohio <laughs> up there. <laughs> yeah, alright, then I'll say Vohio until Tohu Luna. Yes, just try to see you guys. Tohu Luna. Uh, nice. After so, a short break. Soon.